What what kind of payback period are you looking at in terms of herbicides you don't have to buy in terms ROI, of crop yeah. yield? ROI should be less than three years. Every, every we want every farmer to be break even certainly within three years. And it's a it's a combination of labor savings. So if you're mm -hmm. doing if you're doing organics, definitely labor is the primary driver. But even a lot yeah. of the conventional folks are are still hiring hand labor to go out into the field to clean up either stuff the herbicide missed, stuff that the herbicide was ineffective against, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, either because of timing, humidity, wind, all this other stuff, or there just isn't good chemicals for the wheat. And then even more specifically, herbicide-resistant weeds. So yeah. people are still relying on people for a lot of this stuff. So we take care of all that. You don't. You don't need. You don't need to to do that. And then. And then, of course, yeah. If you're gonna, if you're more of a conventional grower, yeah, you save on the herbicides. But then the big thing that we sh that we were able to show in conventional crops that took a while to prove was how much yield improvement you get by not blasting your crops with these chemicals, which are meant to destroy plant growth. Yes. Yes. And the yield improvements can be dr dramatic in some cases up to 50% yield improvements, wow. 50% yield improvements. And so that's on the conventional side, that's where a lot of their, they lean more into the ROI of, of yield improvement. And then. Wow. Wow. So that ha really helps on your payback period as well. Yeah. If you're getting better yield as well as not spending on the herbicide. 